morning everyone and welcome to another weekly vlog. It's Monday, it is 7.43, shit. I was meant to leave at seven, but I'm about to take myself on a run. Um, just a quick one, um, just to get me moving this morning. I do have PT in a couple of hours, but um, I just want to get a little run in in the morning because it's so sunny and lovely. It's such a beautiful day. So I just want to get outside um, because I'm a bit scared that I'm not going to be able to go to the gym for much longer because of the coronavirus situation. I've got a very busy day today for work. I've got three campaigns to shoot. Yeah, I don't really know how that's going to go. I have to get it done, so <laughs> I know it's just going to have to go well, but I am a little bit stressed. I'm going to quickly go for my run. I'm going to run for my run, <laughs> come back and start working. Okay, I'm home and I'm going to do a little bit of meal prep. I'm going to do a little bit of meal prep. Excuse my eggness. Um, this is how I feel today. <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to quickly stew up some apples. You guys have seen me do this so many times, so I'm not going to you know, go into it. But I've got so many messages from you guys thanking me for showing you how to stew apples, even though it's the most simple thing ever. I think if you don't think to do it, I think it is just a really like, it's a great thing to make. So if you've never really thought to do it for your breakfast, um, it's less about me showing you how to do it, more just about like suggesting it because it has changed my breakfast game. I feel like I'm having like a hotel breakfast when I have this. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna stew some apples for the week. I actually have no food in my house and I'm a bit nervous to go to the food shop just because I feel like everyone's acting all kinds of crazy there at the moment. Because I was away for the hen all weekend, uh, I didn't do a food shop last week. So I was like, oh, well, you know, I'll just do it on Monday when I get back. And I feel like I was in a little bit of a, like a, a bubble on the hen do because we were all just staying in an Airbnb together. So we were technically all kind of in isolation anyway because we were only spending time with the people we were with you know there was no one out and about we didn't really see anyone else so i feel like i've kind of come home to like everyone freaking out god i need to actually buy toilet paper is there gonna be toilet paper are people gonna think i'm being crazy and stockpiling toilet paper like uh, you don't need to buy 30 packets of pasta anyway i'm gonna make my apples and then I'm gonna go to the gym. Who knows, the gym might be really empty. I'm in two minds about the gym. Ta -da! I'm now gonna go to the gym and I'm also gonna brave Sainsbury's. So wish me luck. Boy, you had me from the start. By the way you stared, the way you wrote upon me, yeah, yeah. Man, I felt your energy. Wasn't used to being loved and treated differently, yeah. Something went wrong, the signals got crossed, and now we're on completely different pages. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow. You're trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow. Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind. If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the fight. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the fight. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the fight. Will you take me on a trip? Always up and down and back and forth in merry go round. I just wanna get it right. But when you go left, I'm stuck here feeling left behind Cause something went wrong, the signals got crossed And now we're going different directions Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt Hi my loves, so it's now quarter past six I've done some work, I shot a campaign at Oh, email. I've just um, put on a 15% discount on all of my mugs um, until midnight tonight. So obviously it's throughout this week. For me, it's like a full week because today's Monday, it ends on Sunday. So for you guys still have like six hours to order yourself a mug um, with the code positivity for any of you guys who need one right now. I know I'm gonna be spending a lot of time indoors 
drinking a lot of tea. I was supposed to be going to see a quiet place on Wednesday. Tim and I were going to the like double back-to-back -back showing of the first one and then I think you have like food in between and then you watch the second one um and we were really looking forward to it but we've decided that it would be best not to go and to not sit in a room full of people for three hours <laughs> um so we're gonna have our own little movie night on sunday it's some crazy stuff and i have friends who live abroad and they're on lockdown they're like oh, we can't walk in the streets we can't leave our houses we need to have like paperwork to be able to do it it's pretty crazy stuff i'm just trying to be um more mindful feel like the gym might close next week so i'll do my two sessions this week and then i'll just do like outdoor cardio for the rest of the week we are pretty sure that we're not going to be able to go to spain we booked that friend holiday i'm pretty sure that's not going to happen either which is obviously just me being selfish and being sad that i can't go on holiday there's some bigger fish to fry right now it's disappointing like we were all really looking forward to it like our first friend's holiday in ages but we can always rebook for another time, I hope. I'm currently packing up orders now. God, it's 4.20. I haven't eaten lunch yet. I've just kind of been living off of tea. Oh. So I'm just cooking some spaghetti bolognese. Um, I'm trying not to eat too much pasta or spaghetti because uh, you can't get it anywhere. I went to the supermarket today to try and buy tin tomatoes and pasta. Nah, no, 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 not happening. Understandable, but also kind of infuriating because I know that there's people with like 10 bags of pasta in their house. I need to work with all the spaghetti and the pasta I have left, which is probably enough for about five portions of food. Now is the time to be batch cooking, guys. Um, I think tomorrow I'm, at, I'm actually gonna film a like meal prep coronavirus edition video which you might have already seen by now black pepper makes everything better Right now I'm just watching RuPaul's Drag Race and packing up mug orders. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so, so much for everyone who's ordering. I'm just taking a quick break because I've been staring at that TV for a couple of hours now. So I'm just doing a little bit of kitchen organization. I feel like a lot of this vlog is gonna be just me sorting out my house because I have decided to basically try and self-isolate as much as possible. It's gonna be me doing things around the house that I've been meaning to do. One of the things is to decant my protein powder because these things are huge and bulky and ugly but I use them every single day so it's really inconvenient to like put them in and out of the, of the cupboard like the pantry so I just keep them on the side because I literally reach them like everything that I use all the time is out. I decided I wanted to put my protein powder in these terracotta um, pots that I've had for ages and I was using it for tea and then I was using it for cookies Thought it's a good enough size for me to use it for my protein powder so I have I think two of these big ones so I'm gonna do one with my cinnamon and then one with my chocolate hazelnut and then I can have this on the side and just use this and um, top it up because I don't really like packets and like pots being visible I like to put things into pretty things like my hot chocolates and my different coffees are all in little pots and I like to label them so I can see them. Raisins, my coffee and my oats are in these um, amber jars that my grandma gave to me. Tea, coffee, sugar, etc. And I'm just going to be filming and working my ass off. Also, just in case I get sick, because um, it could happen, like, you know. <laughs> there is a high chance that I will get sick. If I do get sick, I want to have loads of work pre-done and videos pre-filmed so that I can continue with my three videos a week trying to get Instagram videos up and things like that so so yeah I'm gonna continue to work hard and just hope for the best 
really. That's all we can do. Hope for the best and wash your hands. <laughs> I will not be out of action until I'm forced out of action. <laughs> Which would you rather have out on the counter? Just, just saying. I'm gonna treat myself to this. Sticky toffee pudding, white chocolate. Oh, hot chocolate. <laughs> Is this packaging not the best thing you've ever seen? How amazing is that? I'm happy. I'm so happy. I wish it had marshmallows, but I'll get by. <laughs> Finally, that took me about four hours. How it takes me so long, I don't know. And I was just very brave. Sat on the floor, packing up the mugs, and a big old house spider crawls past me. I give myself about 20 seconds to freak out, and then I'm like, I can't lose this one. If I lose it in my living room, it's game over. I've got too much stuff to do tomorrow for me to be scared in my own living room. I managed to catch it. I was very brave. Very brave. If you don't know me, if you're new, I'm really scared of spiders. <laughs> it's actually like 11.30. I completely lost track of time. I'm absolutely knackered. I'm gonna go to bed pass out and i'm gonna go for a run tomorrow morning got a lot to do tomorrow I feel like i say that every day but i'm the queen of to-do lists i like to set myself high goals <laughs> every day even if i underachieve on my goals i've achieved actually quite a lot do you know what i mean i ticked off everything on my to-do list today bar one thing which was kind of out of my hands so i'm happy see you guys bright and early in the morning Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday today. I'm excited about today. Um, I'm filming two videos today, but another day in minimal social contact. All right, run done. It is time to go to the post office. Once I've gone to the post office, I ain't leaving my house again today. Do, do, do. ready for the day i just got off the phone with my dad um we're cancelling our trips all of our trips are being cancelled so we're meant to be going to yorkshire next week for my grandma i can't do that so yorkshire's cancelled spain is cancelled i'm now gonna go off and film the self-isolation food prep video i might maybe film a declutter or something i feel like you know as a positive to this awful situation we need to find things to do which will be productive so clean your house read some books watch films that you've been meaning to watch listen to some podcasts organize your house declutter paint the wall you've been meaning to paint that you haven't had time to do now is your time okay <laughs> now is your time let's do this <laughs> Wednesday. It is day three of self-isolation. <laughs> I've decided that while I'm not really supposed to be leaving my house, I might as well have fun with my makeup every day. So today I did like a colour mix little situation, like the blue, the yellow, mixed green. Just having a play with a palette I got sent the other day. I might film this look for Instagram because it's quite fun. I think that today I'm going to edit the Bolivia vlog. While we are in a period of no travel, a travel ban, I think it will be nice to sit and watch my trip and also for you guys as well, like live vicariously through past me. <laughs> I'm currently not there as well. So I'll also be living vicariously through myself. I am going to have to venture out of the house to go get my nails done because they're getting super long and they'll probably break. But I'm gonna be in self-isolation for two weeks. So I think I'm gonna go get them done today and then they're done. Um, and I don't have to think about them for the next two weeks while I'm here. But like a nail salon is a very hygienic place. They wear gloves and masks anyway. I think I'll go and do that today as my, literally as my last outing for the next two weeks. I went for my one mile run this morning. That was good. Hopefully Bolivia will be up really, really soon. And then I'll get cracking on Peru and you can see Machu Picchu. So 
I guess that's the silver lining of all this is that I'm gonna finally get the travel vlogs edited. Okay, I've booked a nail appointment. This will be my last time leaving the house. Tim's coming home tonight. I'm assuming he's staying here, but I don't know. And yes, I am going to the nail appointment looking like this. <laughs> that's it. That was my last outing. My nails are done. I went for something that is like, you know, it can grow out and you can't really tell. I walked in, she was like, wash your hands. She did everything, washed my hands before I left. And obviously she had her mask on and there was no one else in there either, which is good. Nails are done, nice and simple. I went for something pretty quick because I wanted to get out of there. My sister's wedding's canceled. This is craziness. What a crazy, crazy time. Hey. I have written myself a workout plan for the next two weeks so I'll probably film them for you because I'm gonna miss the gym a lot that's gonna be the hardest part for the, of this whole thing for me for me personally not for everyone else I understand that lots of worse things are happening in the world right now but for me as an individual exercise is gonna be the problem we're gonna be socially distant yet together Good morning everyone. I am um, Tim's just in a meeting, which is why I might be talking a little bit quieter. Tim came with me on my mile morning mile this morning. So we had our morning run. Yesterday it was confirmed that schools will be closing on Friday. So people aren't doing their exams and they're gonna have like a six month summer holiday. Like so I have written myself for workout. I've got two leg days. A back and tricep and um, bit of bicep. I hate biceps, so I only like do a little bit of bicep. And then um, chest and shoulders. So I'm gonna try and continue to train, like strength train, four days a week. Um, and I was thinking of filming these workouts. The thing is, is like, I'm not a qualified PT. I don't really know like all the terminology, the correct names of everything. Um, and I'm literally just working with dumbbells and resistance bands. It's gonna be very much like a homemade workout with incorrect names. I'm gonna call them what I personally call them, like nicknames I've called things. But I'm thinking of maybe uploading them next week. If you'd like to see that, if that would be helpful for you, then do let me know because I have currently got all the time in the world. <laughs> yeah, if you want me to share that, like how I'm actually going to be training, then I'll do that because I know that a lot of countries obviously you guys aren't even allowed to go for a run you're not allowed to leave your house at all so I'm very excited to get cracking on these and just really focus on trying to continue with a routine to go along with this I toasted a pita and I mixed a bit of garlic paste with butter and just made some garlic butter to go inside so I've got like a garlic naan with my curry and my quinoa Delish. Good evening everyone. It is 9pm on a Thursday night. I'm about to sit and watch an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race because that's been my life for the past few days. I'm drinking a Bailey's hot chocolate because why not? So I've got a couple of little things in PR. The first thing is a Diego de la Palma mascara which I'm excited to try. I think I am going to do a video testing some of this stuff out so I won't go into too much detail. I got the Mulac Birthday Suit um, Eyeshadow Palette, which looks pretty stunning. I might have to do a little Instagram video with that. I got a backup of the L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara, which has been like my favorite recently. And I've also got a waterproof one. I got sent out a Lily Cup, which I've been meaning to try like a Moon Cup for ages for environmental reasons so i'm really excited to have one and give it a try next time i have a period they sent me this little planner that says emma's planner and i like it because it's just lined paper there's nothing in it so um this is going to be my new list making book because my list making book is full because i make so many freaking lists <laughs> nude sticks have sent me out a little collection of products there's a new matte colour stick and there's also some matte eyeshadows and some lip to cheek balms in here which I'll probably use in an upcoming Instagram video. 
so I won't go into it too much. If you aren't following me yet on Instagram, now is the time to do it because I am gonna be churning out those Instagram videos in the next couple of weeks. I shouldn't pick favorites, but the product that I think I am the most excited about, I say product, products, NARS, have sent me a huge, huge makeup bag full of blushes. So these are all blushes as well as four glitters. These just look like divine. Divine is not a word I often use, but it's pretty divine. <laughs> 10 blushes. When I was younger, I remember saving up for one blush from NARS. And I remember the day I went and I bought NARS Orgasm. I was like 12 years old and I walked in there and I was like, I would like NARS Orgasm, please. And it was probably the first time I said orgasm out loud. <laughs> um, You guys know I'm really into my blush at the moment. Look at that for a color, an incredible color, wow. Tomorrow also, I'm not gonna look like shit. That is a promise. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna film a couple of makeup videos today and I'm really looking forward to just sitting down, playing with some new makeup, some beautiful products um, and just switching off. I think it's going to be very therapeutic and I hope it's therapeutic for you guys to watch. So I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. I haven't had my coffee yet. Oh my god, to be fair, it's only 20 to 9. <laughs> I thought it was so much later than that. Hot beverage of choice. Good afternoon. Have I spoken to you yet today? Hmm. I don't know if I've spoken to you yet today. Maybe. I think I have. If I haven't, hi, it's Friday. If I have, all the days are melting into one. Over the next couple of weeks, I want to do a little bit of home improvement. I think that would be fun. Like, go through, reorganize everything, make some art decisions, because I've got quite a lot of art in my house, in a cupboard that I haven't actually hung on the walls because I feel like I can't make a decision as to where everything should live. I bought these months ago. They were from Made, and they are so cool. I love these. They have so much personality. And I'm trying to think where I want to put them. I was thinking of putting them there above the desk. Are they a bit too small? Do I need something a bit bigger? Or do you think that would fill the space nicely? Let me know. Because if they don't go there, then they'd maybe go there. So where do you think? Should they go in the living room, there, or there? Let me know. And wherever you guys decide next week, I'll hang them with Tim. Um, oh, oh, I bit my <laughs> I just bit my gum really hard. I filmed this look today. Um, it will be Tuesday's video. So look forward to that. Finally posting the video that Sophie and I filmed the other day, the um, Instagram video. I'm really excited for it to go live. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. This is cute. Also, would you guys be interested in a whole video on my scrapbook? Uh, or would you just like me to scrapbook throughout the vlog? Because next week I've got, I've got big scrapbooking plans. <laughs> I've got a hot date with my scrapbook. So I think I'm gonna just try and do as much as I can. Yeah, I really wanna get back into my scrapbooking because I really enjoy doing it. I find it really relaxing. But again, I thought I didn't have time and now I'm like, that is gonna be my weekend. Scrapbooking is gonna be great. Would you guys like a scrapbook with me video? Is that something you would actually watch? If not, would you like me to show you my scrapbook as I go throughout the vlog? Like the weekly vlogs? Or do you not care about the scrapbook? I know that's not true because you guys always ask me about my scrapbook. So I don't think you, I don't think you don't care about my scrapbook. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> if you would like to see that, then hun bun, I will film it because I'll be doing it anyway. Also, this bad boy is also gonna be making an appearance, I think. If you are new, which loads of you are, hello and welcome. Um, you may not recognize this. I think it was like two vlogmases ago, Tim and I did this puzzle or started this puzzle. We never finished it. So uh, this is also on the cards. I'm gonna try and complete the dog puzzle. I cut my own um, bangs the other day. <laughs> Cause I've not had a haircut in about like eight months since before I went to South America. But it's at that stage of damage where it hasn't appeared to get much longer in the past nine months. <laughs> it's just growing and snapping. But like, look at these roots. I wonder what, like, I mean, I'm just letting it grow and trying to get it nice and healthy. But when all of this is over and I can like justify going to get my hair done, 
I wonder what I'll get. I think Tim's quite keen for me to go back to brunette, like my natural color. I just really like the light bits. Why did I start talking to you? Oh, scrapbook. Let me know about the scrapbook. Also, let me know about these. I've put them there so I can like look at them throughout the day. I think they look really nice there. I mean, obviously not there, there. They'll be up. But then I also want to put my 100,000 subscriber plaque somewhere. I want to put it in here. Obviously, I don't want to have, have it in my living room. I think that's a little bit weird. But I want to have it in my office somewhere. But I don't know where. Morning guys, it's Saturday today and I'm cooking up some granola. I did some last week and I ate the entire jar in about four days. So that's not boding well for my resources. <laughs> making more and I'm gonna force myself to let it last. Anyway, but I'm just making my breakfast now. I'm gonna have yogurt and fruit. Today I want to set up Tim a little workstation in the flat so that when he comes and stays here, he's got somewhere that's not in my office. I'll distract him and he'll distract me. So I want to set him up a little workstation. I also want to do a bit of cleaning. I'm going to do a little at home workout. Um, and I also want to film a couple of videos. So last night, all of the pubs, restaurants, cafes, cinemas, gyms, everything closed. So I'd say that we're kind of on lockdown. Like we can obviously walk out out and about on the streets we can go to the supermarket and stuff but there's nowhere to go i think it's a very british way of putting us on lockdown because it's kind of making it feel like it's our idea like i don't need to go out because there's nowhere to go rather than you're not allowed to go out tonight we were supposed to be going to our friend nathan's birthday drinks and obviously that's cancelled so we're gonna have some drinks over facetime with him tonight so hopefully i've got enough booze to last us over this amount of time because i feel like i'm gonna have a few more drinks than usual <laughs> spirits are still high my grandma has moved in with my dad he went and picked her up yesterday so my dad's house is now off limits to me i'm not allowed to go over there for they've said i think a few months for people over 17. i'm quite used to my own company so i'm just gonna keep myself hella busy hi you love you're right i'm not sure when this video is gonna be going live probably the week after next so we got some fun makeup videos coming you guys i also took my little birds out of there packaging and i do think it looks really cool there so that might be their new home and also i started building my little home gym today I wanted to be able to work out in my office it's on the floorboard so it's kind of rickety and loud and makes everything in the room shake and i feel like i wouldn't really like go for it i know this sounds silly but you just don't want to really go for it so i've built my little gym down here and i'm actually really pleased with it let me show you so it's literally it's next to my bed I've got my gym mirror here <laughs> and I've got two four kilos, two three, two fives and then I've got two eights and two tens on the way. I've got my resistance bands, I've got my skipping rope, obviously my yoga mat, business on the top, sweatpants on the bottom, always. <laughs> so I can see myself, see what I'm doing, there's a good amount of space. This has become my bench press. I can do like flies, I can do chest press, and that has become where I'm gonna do my hip thrusts. It's just the right height. Um, so I can do my hip thrusts with my 10 kilogram dumbbells. So I can do like 20 kilogram hip thrusts from home, which is pretty good. And I have also ordered a couple of um, other resistance bands like the full like the long ones with this with the handles that um, So I can do like a lap pull down. So I'm gonna be able to do a full body workout here It's gonna be okay. You guys feeling confident about my workout routine I was a bit nervous, but loads of people work out from home. So there I'm very happy with that. I'm very excited Anywho, I've been wearing um, Outdoor clothes for far too many hours today for my liking so I'm gonna take off this top but I do love this jumper. I got it off of and other stories i actually want to ask you about that i have actually got some new clothes in this is one item and i was wondering if you guys would like to see a haul because i know that a lot of you have said you want me to kind of continue my content as normal which which i'm totally chill with doing of course obviously the vlogs won't be as normal but like my makeup and fashion and fitness ish will be pretty normal but i feel like is it insensitive for me to do a clothing haul when a lot of people aren't working and people don't need clothes because they're not going out as much. But I bought all of this obviously before everything happened. If you'd like to see a 
ASOS and and other stories haul then leave a comment down below and I'll totally film that for you because I got some really cute stuff that I'm excited to share but I don't want to be insensitive so let me know my dad dropped me around some Percy pigs he like left them outside my front door <laughs> I need a cup of tea and I'm gonna edit. I need to wear colour more often. Yellow and pink is such a vibe. I feel like a Barbie. Clearly I've been watching too much Drag Race. <laughs> a lovely bath i did my workout had my bath tim and i just shared a bottle of wine <laughs> and now we're making nachos <laughs> to counteract all of that hard work i just did crazy saturday saturday night and it's our friend nathan's birthday today and he was supposed to be having a birthday gathering and obviously that would not be socially responsible so we just facetimed him had some drinks over the phone and what are you looking for cheese grommet what are we watching? Hammer's Tale. Because we started the latest season and then we stopped for some reason. I think some, it's something else. Something else came started. out like... Not better, but something else that was more pressing. Is it Game watch. of Thrones? I think Game of Thrones came out and we had to know because otherwise it would get spoilers. Whereas Hammer's Tale is not really a spoiler kind of show. <laughs> Hammer's Tale is incredible. I'd say it's probably if you've the, not one watched of the best Hammer's shows I've watched in a while. Yeah, if you've not seen Hammer's Tale and you're currently self-isolating... <laughs> <laughs> Spend that time wisely and get on it because it's brilliant. If you've read the book, it's way more, way, way, way more than the book. The book's only like... Have you read the book? No, but Alex has and Alex right. is my flatmate from last year and he read the book and it's only the first season and they've done four seasons and it just gets better and it's better. It's like this extended edition. I've got wine face. Oh, my cheeks are all red. I don't know, you get it off white wine as well. Are you out to make the nachos while I set up Hamo's tail and come help you? Better, do it right. <laughs> right, we're gonna eat some junk food now. Happy Saturday, baby! I got the coffee to put on it. Oh, you are. <laughs> I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. He's a fool and a waste of time. That is so satisfying. My eight kilogram and ten kilogram dumbbells have arrived, so finally I can get a good workout on because I was just doing loads of reps with the fives. <laughs> I definitely needed some heavier weight, so this is great. I did legs and bum yesterday, and let me tell you, my bum is hurting this morning. This legs yesterday, today I'm going to do back triceps and biceps, then I'm going to do a, my second leg session, and then chest and shoulders. And there's our puzzle area, there's Tim's desk. <laughs> Next week I'm going to try and make the vlog as normal as possible and just do things rather than talking about it. So I think next week I'm gonna focus on cleaning, decluttering, going through things, keeping super, super busy. Um, Maybe I'll do a scrapbook video if you guys would like to see that. I've got so much content that I want to film so I don't have to talk about coronavirus all the time anymore. Um, Now that we've kind of got to the stage that we're at where they're really saying to self-isolate, now that we're all on the same page, I'm now just going to show you what I'm doing within it rather than talking about it. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all staying inside. It is the one thing we can do. Let's help the NHS because I heard an absolutely devastating um, interview today with an NHS worker and I'm just thinking of them. Honestly, it's such a scary time for them for everyone but for the people on the front line it's a really scary time yeah i'm sending everyone lots of love thank you so much for watching i'm really excited about next week's videos i've got so many videos that i'm excited to film for you guys i'm gonna try and upload a couple of bonus videos next week so you're probably gonna get maybe four maybe five videos rather than the usual three so if you're not subscribed make sure to join the family um there will be loads of videos coming for you guys next week 
thank you so much for watching have the best day and i will see you on tuesday bye